Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is drug methimazole. Uh, I'm covering topics related to uh, USMLE step 1 pharmacology and these are very important drugs you should know. Okay guys, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, you can share this video with your friends so that they can watch and you can tell them through the Facebook, email or a Twitter account, whichever is convenient to you. Uh, recently, I uploaded a video on uh, propyl thioracyl. Uh, watch that video that's very important okay now the methimazole methimazole is an anti-thyroid drug a part of a thioamide group like its counterpart propyl thioracyl the major side effect of the treatment is again the same that is a agranulocytosis um, methimazole is a drug used to treat hyperthyroidism a condition that usually occurs when the thyroid gland is producing too much of a thyroid hormone uh, it may also be taken uh, before thyroid surgery to lower thyroid hormone levels and minimize the effects of thyroid manipulation. Uh, methimazole inhibits the enzyme uh, thyroperoxidase which normally acts in the thyroid hormone synthesis by inhibiting the um, anion iodide to iodine facilitating the iodine's additions to tyrosine residues on the hormone precursor thyroglobulin, a necessary step in the synthesis of a triiodothyronine. Uh, thyronine and uh, thyroxine, that is a T3 and T4. It does not inhibit the action of sodium dependent iodide transporter located on the follicular cells of uh, basolateral membranes. Inhibition of this step requires competitive inhibitors such as perchlorate or thiocyanate. Okay, it acts at CXL, CXCL10. Uh, it is important to monitor any symptoms of a fever or uh, sore throat while taking uh, methimazole. This should indicate the development of agranulocytosis. Okay, uh, uncommon and uncommon but severe side effect resulting from a drop in the white blood cell count. A complete CBC, that is a complete blood count, uh, differential is uh, preferred. With a differential is preferred to confirm the suspicion, in which case drug is discontinued. Okay, administration of the recombinant human granulocyte colony stimulating factor may increase the recovery. The other side effects uh, include skin rash, itching, abnormal hair loss, upset stomach, vomiting, and the loss of taste. Abnormal sensations, uh, swelling, uh, joint and the muscle pain, drowsiness, dizziness, uh, decrease of white blood cells count, and decrease platelet and aplasia cutis congenita if there is a prenatal exposure. Drug interaction adverse uh, uh, effects may also occur from individuals who take anticoagulants such as warfarin, diabetes medications, uh, digoxin, digoxin, theophylins and vitamins. Um, have ever had any blood disease such as uh, decrease of white blood cells, leukopenia, decreased platelets, or a, a plastic anemia, liver disease? Because of the agranulocytosis, these complications can occur, and also for the drug interactions. Are pregnant or are going to be pregnant or are breastfeeding? An alternative uh, antithyroid drug, propyl thyroxine, is often substituted during the pregnancy and a breastfeeding. If pregnancy occurs while taking methimazole, switch to Switching to propyl thyroxine may also be an alternative. May be an alternative. Each study suggests that methimazole may harm the fetus. However, more recent studies suggest that may not be the case. Look at this. How the medicine is changing. Are going to have surgery? Include dental surgery. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. Uh, please do not.